Hi, in this video we continue with our bucket fill tool and discuss some of our more important options like affected area. Now if I click here on fill the hole selection, what this means is right now my uh, foreground cover is red and I'm filling with uh, foreground cover. So if I click here, I'll fill in the hole selection. Control Z to undo that. If I click to fill similar covers and I click, I'll just uh, fill an area of similar covers. Now, how these uh, covers are chosen is um, by our threshold here. Now, the lower this is, for example, if you make it two, the smaller areas we will fill. The higher it is, if you go too high, we may fill, let's just undo that, may fill the whole uh, area. Now basically what this threshold does is we have here a green, but now all the green is the same uh, tone. Uh, we have different variations of green. Uh, so the higher the threshold, the wider the specter of green that we are going to fill, or blue or any other color. Now the next option here, fill in transparent areas. What this does is uh, right now here, let's go to our rectangular select tool, add to selection, and just add to this selection like that. Let's go back to our paint, our bucket fill tool, and fill in, if I uncheck this and click here now, I won't be able to fill this uh, area of transparency. Our transparency, as we know, is indicated by this checkerboard. We've talked about this before. But if I click here, fill in transparent areas, I will also fill that transparent area. Let's control Z to undo that. If I click here to fill the whole selection, I can fill, fill that selection. <coughs> now, the next option here, sample merged. What that means is that uh, you will base your fill on the um, all the visible layers. Now in GIMP, visibility is not indicated but what you see. For example, if I move this layer right now in front of the other layer where we have that graphic, uh, in for GIMP, this layer, this graphic behind it is visible. For us, it's not visible, but for GIMP, it's, it's visible. So have in mind that this sample merged um, regards to visibility but visibility is what we have turned on here to be visible, not what we can see on the screen. Now our uh, last option here is fill by composite that we're doing right now. We can fill in by red, green, blue values, uh, channels, uh, we can fill by hue, saturation or value. Now sometimes when you fill an area, even when you try to tweak your threshold here and other options, you may not get the results you want. So you may experiment here with these options to try to accomplish that. So that's it for this video. Bye for now.